Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 3rd of October, the local media headlines today. Cornwall councillors meet today for the first time to discuss what should happen next, now that the Local Government Boundary Commission has decided to abolish 36 of them without a vote being cast at the next round of local government elections. The Council's Electoral Review Panel must now consider how it seeks your opinion about where to draw the line between one local division and the next. Cornwall Reports will be at that meeting and we'll have a full report later. Pirate FM tells us that a man has been arrested after a bomb scare which cordoned off a street in Red Ruth. Police were scrambled after reports of a suspicious device at a Methodist church on Wesley Street. It's not related to terrorism. Radio Cornwall's found a local person who was in Las Vegas yesterday and who's been able to give a first-hand account of the latest mass shooting. Cornwall Live goes with a story about the shortage of nurses and the impact it's having on the Royal Cornwall Hospital at Truro. The Falmouth Packet has a story about how residents are being consulted on the Maritime Rail Line, which links the port with Penryn and Truro. And finally, the Cornish Times reports on a new tourism initiative encouraging visitors to take part in a special game of Find and Seek. Cornwall 365 has created a new guide made up of unique hand-drawn maps of different areas of Cornwall, produced by local artist Keith Sparrow. The organisation says it wants budding explorers to celebrate places which are just waiting to be uncovered. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you've been watching on social media, please like and share. I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye.